What is up, Ninja Nation? I hope you had a great opening day, and I'm here to give you a recap of the filthiest pitches from yesterday. But before I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've noticed some of you guys keep coming back but aren't subscribed. You need to subscribe so you never miss out on anything, and you'll know right away when I post the latest interviews, pitch grips, or filthy highlights. So hit that subscribe button, and here we go. We're going to start out with the reigning MVP, Shohei Otani, who had an amazing nine strikeouts in only four and two-thirds innings. His fastball was overpowering. He had wicked sliders, nasty splitters, and even a beautiful curveball. And I love this with Shohei getting a little bit surprised with Max Stassi making a mound visit. Although he wasn't quite as startled as Yordano Ventura is here when Drew Butera made a mound visit. This is legendary. Yu Darvish was sharp yesterday with six no-hit innings, fastball touching 97 miles an hour, some wicked splitters and sliders, and who knows what else, because the man throws like 15 different pitches. Shane Bieber was back in action, and check out these nasty knuckle curves. It's one of the best curveballs in the game. The legend Zach Grinke is back with his new old team, the Kansas City Royals, and he threw this Beautiful 70 mile an hour curveball, although he's not in midseason form because if he was, it would have been 69. Speaking of ageless pitchers and beautiful curveballs, here's one by Adam Wainwright. Just gorgeous. Mets opening day starter Tyler McGill took the mound, and you know, literally, Jacob deGrom and Max Scherzer could not have pitched better. Check out this 99 mile an hour fastball. I didn't know he could throw that hard. And then these sliders. He had six Ks in five innings and did not give up a run and only gave up three hits. And while we're talking about the Mets, check out these curveballs from Seth Lugo. Lugo's curveball had the highest spin rate in the major leagues last year, and these curveballs were insane. That's 3,448 RPMs on the first one and 3,347 on the second one. Talk about a freaking hammer. Talking about crazy stuff, look at this frisbee slider from Adam Ottavino. That is 20 inches of horizontal break. That thing traveled like three area codes. My flamethrower of the day is the Braves' Spencer Strider. He's a rookie, struck out five hitters in two innings on 100-mile-an-hour fastballs, basically incinerating folks. Pure electricity. All gas, no brakes. Before we get to my filthiest pitch and pitcher of the day, I wanted to comment a little bit on the pitch comm system. This replaces catchers putting down the traditional signs, and the communications are encrypted so you can't steal them or intercept them. And I love this change. It sped up the pace of play because the pitcher didn't have to wait for catchers to put down signs. The catcher could give a sign while there was a foul ball or hit by pitch or whatever. And it opens the door for some awesome new pranks, like Narvaez sending Corbin Burns Radiohead. Better, happier, more productive. Now on to the filthiest pitch of the day. The filthiest pitch of the day comes from Kyle Hendricks. The professor had two amazing change-ups that ran 23 inches. Remember, home plate is only 17 inches wide, so that is 6 inches further than home plate is wide. I mean, look at this thing go. I put a tail on it so you can see the movement. That is crazy. What may be even crazier is how Kyle Hendricks repeats his mechanics. Here are two change-ups that both ran 23 inches overlaid with each other, and you can see there's almost no difference. That is robot-level consistency, and Kyle may actually be a robot. Hendricks had 13 whiffs on his change-up this game, and you can see why. And he got all those whiffs, despite the fact that his fastest fastball yesterday was 88.1 miles an hour. Although I did wonder what it would look like if Hendricks threw 187 instead of 87. Here's Hendricks' changeup slowed down and isolated, so you can see the spin axis and the grip. Kyle gets a lot of seam-shifted wake on his changeup, which is a fancy way of saying that the seams kind of create a wake behind the ball that makes the ball move the way it does. Think of how a boat creates a wake. If you can create this same spin axis on your pitch with that seam in the same place each rotation, which creates that wake, you can throw a changeup that moves 23 inches just like Kyle. And now for your Pitching Ninja moment of zen, 
Here is a mic'd up Joey Votto asking Ozzy Albies whether he should get a diamond tooth. Hey Ozzy, what do you think about me getting a diamond, a diamond tooth? Go for it. Okay, there we go. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. <laughs>